Hey guys, Claudia from Claudia's Cucina. I'm so excited to come to you guys today and show you how easy it is to make jam in our new deluxe cooking blender. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm not, definitely not that person that makes homemade jam. But I'm excited that I now can be because I have this robot that's going to make it super easy for you. So when you purchase your deluxe cooking blender, you're going to get our deluxe cooking guide. And this is just a little sticky note of recipes I plan on trying. And it comes with all the different recipes that are available to you just so you can kind of get a feel of what you can throw in there. So one of the things that we're going to make today is our uh, low sugar jam. So it is like the simplest thing. So you just open your deluxe cooking blender and you take a pound of strawberries. Now I think you could probably double this, maybe try two or three and see how, how, my, oops, how many pounds that one went on the floor. That's right. And that's all you do is you just add this and let me make sure I'm not supposed to add the sugar. So add the ingredients for the first stage to the pitcher Replace and lock the lid, turn the wheel, and select jam setting. So the first step is uh, low sugar strawberries and two and a half tablespoon of low sugar pectin. All right, so this is what it looks like. Never used this before. This blender came out. This is what it looks like in the store. And this just helps it kind of gel up and give you the consistency of jam. So two and a half, we're just gonna use our uh, measuring spoon from Paper Chef, obviously. Two and a half. Now there are, there's a ton of different recipes out there, so I know some people don't use uh, don't use pectin. They just use lemon and sugar. So you can just use whatever recipe. If you have a recipe that you used to make with your grandma, but it used to take hours, you can now do it in a couple minutes. All right. So then you just turn your blender to the heated setting, which are all the way on the right, and you press jam. So the blender has prompted us now to add, so it stopped, and it says add, and all you have to do is just remove this top and add half a cup of sugar, since we're doing the low sugar jam version. Oops, all right, this is literally it. And now it starts the second stage where it's gonna work at, you just click the button again, and it's gonna do its second thing. And now it's gonna get the blender up to 220 degrees to activate the pectin. At 220 degrees, the pectin gets activated, and that's when you get like your jam consistency. So we'll show you the final results on step three. All right. It's beeping, our jam is completely done. So it got up to 220. It is really hot, so just be careful. You can see it's like it got the jam up and boiling. And then what you wanna do is you can can this if you want and do the whole water bath, or you can actually freeze these for up to six months. So you could use our glass mixing bowls, our glass prep bowls, and you have homemade jam. Check this out. Look how creamy it is. There's no seeds, there's no pulp, so it's perfect for those picky children too. So jam done in just like a few steps and then this cleans itself. Amazing!